Actress Felicity Huffman and 13 others have agreed to plead guilty to participating in a massive college admissions scandal. They're among 50 people, including many parents, test proctors, and college coaches charged last month in the case. Let's bring in David Bruno. He's a former prosecutor and a criminal defense attorney. Uh, David, you know, this could include jail time for lots of for lots of these uh, parents, especially. Yeah. How, how much time are we talking? What, well, under what f the recent pleas are going to be f up to 15 months. All right. But for the more serious offenders, certainly up to 20 years. I mean, there, there are some serious repercussions. You're in federal court. United States attorney has come out on this case and said that every single person will be offered jail time. Wow. Yeah. So it's it's possible. Uh, Full House actress Lori Loughlin and, and her husband, they did not plead guilty, right. at least not yet. What's next for them in all this? Yeah, they're going to be back in court for status, mm -hmm. and, and the judge is going to be asking, is there plea negotiations, is there outstanding discovery, are there motions? Mm -hmm. But certainly there's a benefit for defendants to take early deals in the federal system. You get a deduction off your time. So it's in their best interest to take the deal early if they're going to do it. All right. Let's pivot here because the attorney general, uh, William Barr, he's testifying today. It's supposed to be this routine budgetary uh, hearing, but obviously he's going to get grilled, particularly by Democratic lawmakers, um, on on the, the Mueller investigation, the, the special counsel report. Uh, he did release that four that four uh, page summary. Right. right but yeah. uh Democrats He's are saying release the, the whole thing. There's been three letters. He's been as transparent as can be, actually. Yeah. Every single turn, he's advised the public as what he's doing. It was that four-page summary, and then there was a subsequent letter that said, we're going to release the report, even though we don't have to. They don't have to under the federal law. There's going to be redactions, and it's going to come mid-April. So any day now, we are going to get re a redacted Mueller report, and the Dems are just, they're Why never they going to be wait? satisfied. Why can't they? They should. They should. And they're going to probably ask questions today. And I think it's going to be very consistent with what he said in his three letters up to date, saying, I'm going to redact, I have to redact, and you're going to get it soon. The one thing that the top Democrat and the top Republican on the House Judiciary seem to agree on is Robert Mueller, having him tes testify. Do you sure. expect that to happen? Yes. Should it happen? It should. Okay. Right? I think it will. But, but in a public setting, and I think as a public, we're, we're going to be looking for a lot of answers. I don't think we're going to be getting a lot of answers in a public setting. There's so many classified, uh, so much classified information, so much information protected by the grand jury, which under federal law is protected and cannot be public. So we're not going to get a lot of information in that hearing. And there's going to be problems from particularly Democrats about why you don't have all that information. All right, last exactly. topic here. Google and Facebook, they're set to testify today and tomorrow. Uh, today is before a House, um, a House committee and uh, about basically their efforts, what they're doing to stop hate speech. Sure. Especially post every the massacre in New Zealand. Um, what do you expect to actually happen here? Is there going to be some sort of government regulation that everyone keeps talking about, but we haven't seen it happen yet? Well, the First Amendment protects uh, hate speech. All right. So that's one. So government can't actually require them to take down hate speech. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting dynamic yeah. here. You have lawmakers asking questions about hate speech, but the, pri the companies, private and public companies, they have the ability to regulate and they are. So they'll be answering questions about what they've done to regulate. And you expect anything to come out of that? No. <laughs> In a nutshell, David Bruno, we appreciate you Got and your brevity. Thank you. <laughs>